Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we have ourselves some new RGB bulbs from Amazon. And no, these are not your regular RGB bulbs. Instead, these are the RGBW bulbs, which means they have a pure white color when you select the white option. These come in two different variants. You have the warm white and the cool white. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So basically two nights ago, I wanted some RGB for my room. So I went ahead and ordered and installed two cool white bulbs, except I didn't know about them. And once I installed them, and press this middle button right here, the bulbs turned into white. And at that point, I actually didn't know, I didn't even read too much into the page, I just ordered them and they came in the day later. And apparently these were the new RGBW. And you can easily tell by this new remote right here. It has this middle button right here, that's the layout of it. There's the 44 and the 48, I can't remember what numbers, but basically there are two other remotes. And essentially these are the new remotes for the RGBW bulbs. They're not that bad, not a lot of customizability, but for what it is, I'm perfectly fine with it and I'll show you guys how this works. So anyways, I've already installed these things, but here is what the box looks like. So you can see that it is a 10 watt bulb. It's got two in one, basically white and RGB, and then more information, more pictures, very cool stuff. And you can pause the video if you wanna take a closer look at this. And apparently these are A grade bulbs, so I guess they're pretty cool. Um, we'll also talk about the PWM and flashing. So if you're someone who's gonna be recording their room and doing YouTube videos and you wanna know if these bulbs are gonna flash in camera, well, we're gonna talk about that in just a bit here and show you guys if it does. For the most part, it does not, so that's pretty good. Finally, here is what the bulb itself looks like. Both the warm white and the regular white look exactly the same. Uh, looks pretty good. You got an aluminum piece right here that feels pretty good. Everything is nice and clean, uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, they come in different brands, and I'll leave links for them in the description below. And usually you'll have some writing right about here, telling you about the type of bulb it is, the wattage, and the voltage. And lastly, here's a quick look in the manual. It comes in two languages, English and I think uh, German or French, I'm not too exactly sure. But yeah, here's what it looks like. Pretty straightforward, tells you everything you need to know. Here's a closer look at the remote section, and you can pause the video if you want to read this and see what it's all about. If you want, maybe I'll post the manual in the description below so you can understand how these things work. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this ball back in and uh, show you guys what these look like when they're on. Let's go. All right, so here's what they look like alongside these really bright lights that I have on right now. So you can still see them and they're actually not bad at all in terms of brightness, I've seen much worse. In fact, they're actually pretty good and they were very similar to the Ikea and Amazon branded lights that I got here. This one's from Hyperkeon and they're actually really bright. And the same thing goes for these Ikea bulbs. Uh, they're both warm. This one is vintage warm, 2700K and these are 3000K. And I believe these are 27K as well. So they're vintage warm white and they look pretty damn good. Here's a look like alongside these Ikea diffusers. I'll just call them diffusers. They look pretty good. They're pretty bright. And especially when you turn off the lights. So let's go ahead and turn off the lights. Here's what these look like all alone. So these are off and they're lighting the room up pretty well. Now let's go ahead and talk about the flickering of these lights. If you're a YouTuber, you're going to be concerned about this, or you may not even know about it because you've never had RGB before or LEDs before. But basically, some cheap RGBs have flickering. And basically, the way it happens is they start pulsing one of the colors at a certain frequency in order to lower the brightness in results to make the color look the way it is. And without going too deep into it, here's what it looks like. So if you have pure colors, they're going to run at full brightness and they're going to not pulse. Like right now we have green. And if we go ahead and do yellow, for example, you can see somewhere in the middle it will flicker. And then if you go ahead and go red, you can see in the middle, like orange, you'll start seeing some flickering because one of the colors is mixed up and it's pulsing. So right now we're running at 160th. Here's 180th, 100th, 125, 160. And if we go ahead and go down to 50th, 40th of a second, 30th of a second, 25, and at 25, it pretty much stops. Go back to 180th. They're flickering, that's what they look like. So yes, there will be flickering. But if you go ahead and do pure red, which I think looks pretty nice, no flickering. Go ahead and do pure blue. Also no flickering. And finally, pure green, no flickering. And of course, we also have the warm white or the cool white. Right now we have the warm white, which is 2700K, and that's what it looks like. Uh, really calm color. No flickering as well, very nice and bright. It actually lights up the room properly and uh, it looks pretty damn good. I would totally recommend the warm white just because it's much easier on your eyes. But if you wanna get cool white, go ahead. You probably have some use for it, maybe for recording videos. And now if we go ahead and take a look at my standing IKEA diffusers, I can't remember the name exactly for them. Very nice colors. Now, if you wanna sync these colors easily, basically the best way to do it is to just point at the ceiling and then have the light reflect to both of them. Otherwise, they won't be synced and you'll have issues like what I'm doing right now. So the best way to do it is get close and point at the ceiling if both of them don't activate at the same time. 
So here's blue, red, and all the different colors. Now, how this remote works is probably pretty confusing at first, but it does make sense uh, later on. So before we go ahead and take a closer look at the remote, I'm gonna show you guys what the cool white would look like compared to the warm white. All right, so on the left side, we have the warm light, and on the right side, we have the cool white. And here's what they look like when they are on. That's 2700, I think that's 4000, I'm not too sure. It will be on the screen here. And here's a close-up reference of what they look like. Uh, they're pretty good. The cool white is pretty bright, and so is the warm white. Personally, I prefer the warm light. It's much easier on the eyes. Meanwhile, the white, it's, uh, it's good for video. It's good for lighting up objects. It really depends on per-use cases. And that's the difference between both colors. They come in different brands, and they're all pretty much the same. Just make sure you get the one with this type of remote. Again, if you guys are interested, I'll leave links for it in the description below. And now, before we go ahead and wrap this video up, let's go ahead and talk about the remote. All right, so here's the remote. I'm not gonna go too depth into it. If you wanna know more about it, you can read the manual. But essentially, you got your on-off switch, your brightness controls, and of course, if you lower the brightness, it will start pulsing to lower the brightness, and you'll end up with this wavy effect on camera. So I don't recommend lowering the brightness if you're gonna be recording anything. Then you have your rainbow effect. It will cycle through the colors, as usual. And then you got heart, green, water. Again, I have no idea what these are exactly, but I just use them by default to get the exact color that I want just in the background. But if you want to go ahead and go more in depth and change to the exact color that you want, you can hold down these four colors. So you got red, yellow, green, and blue. And basically, you can start with one color, so you go from yellow. Now if you want to go for lime green and somewhere in the middle, you hold down green until you get to the color that you want, or until you get the full green. And the same thing goes if you want to go ahead to a blue, you can keep holding it down until you get to the center color or somewhere close by until you get to the full blue color. And uh, if you want to go purple, you hold down red between blue and eventually you'll get to purple. And of course, it's gonna pulse somewhere. In some cases, you'll get to a balanced color where both colors are pulsing properly and you won't have to actually worry about this wavy effect. And if I keep holding red, I'll eventually get the full red color. So that's how this works. You can mix the colors and whatnot, and if you get multiple of them, you can just point at each one of them and uh, manage to get two colors at the same time. So I could get two colors going at the same time. I got some blue, we got some red, and uh, it might be hard to actually coordinate them. Something like your wall or your desk will reflect the infrared colors, triggering both of them at the same time. So, for example, right now, I just turned it on to white, and they both went to white. I can go to blue, they'll both go to blue. Even though I'm pointing at one of them, it may not change exactly how I want it. So, there you go. So with all that being said, do I recommend these? Absolutely yes, these are fantastic. They're a pretty awesome upgrade over these IKEA and Amazon branded bulbs. The warm light on this thing looks the exact same as these guys. Same brightness, same everything, except now I have RGB and an awesome remote to control everything with. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you guys are interested in this thing, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. And that is pretty much it for this video. So thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.